I received an email a while back from a company called Simply Lock. They have asked if I was interested in uh, reviewing their new lock that they are selling now on Amazon. And I thought it was a scam and didn't pay any attention to it. And then I kept on getting emails uh, asking me again to try and uh, uh, review it and give my opinion on my YouTube channel. So I did some research on it and looked them up on Amazon and for sure they are selling this lock on Amazon. So I figured they were a legit company. So I emailed them back and asked them, uh, you know, if there's any catches to anything, uh, do you, is this going to be a paid uh, endorsement? Uh, can I give my honest opinion, you know, no matter whether I like it or not? And whether there's any kind of compensation or whether I had to pay for the lock and shipping and all that sort of stuff. And they responded back that no, we'll send it to you at no cost. All we ask for you is to do an honest review on your YouTube channel. So that's what I'm doing right now. This is a product review on a new lock made by a company called Simply Lock. It is a combination lock. It has four wheels. Uh, it's a changeable combination, so you can change it to anything you want. And the lock opens by the pressing this button here. It's factory set at all zeros, as you can see here. And you simply press this, and it pops open. It claims it's a hardened steel shackle. And the body itself is an alloy of some sort. It could be zinc, it could be anything. It's not magnetic, but the insides are magnetic. So this little tiny magnet will slide very easily around there. This shows that this is not uh, magnetic, but the shackle is. And this strong magnet, very, very strong, will grab a hold of it because it's uh, it's attracted to the, the metal inside the lock, not on the outside. The outside just slides around, but the inside is magnetic. Now, to change the combination on this lock, Look here on the left-hand side, there's a plate with a Phillips head screw. You need to have a Phillips head screwdriver and undo the screw. Remove the plate. There's a plate right here. And there you have a switch. In order to change the combination, you have to have the combination that opens the lock set on here. This one is set on all, all zeros. At this point, you can push the tab up. You can see the word set. This allows you to change the combination of the lock to anything you want. So you can change it by moving the dials to anything you want. And then you close the tab there, pushing it down, and that locks it in place. Now, when it's at four zeros, you do have to open the lock. I did not mention that the shackle has to be open before you can uh, actually set the combination. So you open the shackle, then you press down on the tab there. Change it to whatever combination you want. Push the tab up. And then close the shackle. And your combination is changed. So, what are the pros and cons to this lock? The pros of the Simply Lock are that it's indoor, outdoor. It's very solid, heavy padlock. It has a resettable combination to it. And it can't be bypassed by using 
bypass tool like this or by tugging on the shackle and looking for a loose wheel. So I've not found any way to bypass this. Uh, I've tried different ways of using, pushing this down and manipulating the lever here for the resetting, and tugging on the shackle, but I've not found any way of bypassing this lock to get in. And I also like this little feature here of uh, being able to press and open the lock. So that are the, uh, the pros I found for this lock so far. So let's talk about the cons. The cons I found to this lock are just three and you can determine what uh, the severity you believe they might uh, present. But the first one is that in order to change the combination, you need to have a Phillips screwdriver with you to remove that in order to change your combination. Now you can overcome that just by removing this plate and just leaving it off completely. Uh, what you can do, it does not affect the security of the lock in any way, having this plate off. The, uh, you cannot move this lever up when the combination is not set. It locks automatically. It will only move up when the combination is set to the right number. There. But when it's not, it won't. So you can overcome that to draw it back, and it does not affect the security of the lock. The other thing that uh, may happen, and I don't know if it ever will, don't have any history on this lock, is whether the uh, pushing mechanism, let's get this back to all zeros, whether that button, the spring behind it, whether the mechanism behind it would eventually wear and no longer push or no longer work to release the shackle. Uh, that's, you know, could be a possibility, but at this point, it's unknown. The third thing is the shackle. It says that it's hardened, but I don't believe that it is. And we'll give it a hardened test here by using a file file it on here. What I'll do is, this is a triangle file, is I'll go 15 times like this and see what the shackle looks like. Get that. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 12, 13, 14, 15. Don't know if you can see that. You can see the file cut into that pretty deeply. Now for a comparison, we'll go with the Master Lock 875, which has the same size body, just has a longer shackle. But this one, says harden as well. So we'll give it a, a try. Again, we'll use a triangle and we'll go 15 times on it and see what it does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, can't see any markings on that at all. Just, just a little bit right there. 
just not cutting to the metal at all. So for this, I'd say it's the hardened part of it is not uh, it's not accurate. I think it could be, could easily be cut with a hacksaw blade pretty quickly. So there are the cons on this. And the next thing we'll do, I'll give you the pricing and my recommendation. Or my opinion, rather. I'll leave a recommendation up to you. The Simply Lock comes in two varieties, a short shackle and a long shackle. And it comes in silver finish or a black finish. And the short shackle price uh, in silver is $13.99. The long shackle version is $16.99. Compare that with the master lock. This is the 875. It's the one that's comparable in size. The short shackle version of this is 1688. It's about three dollars more expensive than the Simply Lock, and the long version, the one you see here, is twenty dollars and four cents. So there's a big difference there. To sum up, the Simply Lock is a rugged lock. It's well built and has very good security from uh, the normal bypass method used for opening up uh, combination locks. The biggest security concern I find is that the shackle can be filed or uh, easily hacksawed, and I'd like to see that corrected. The method of changing the combination is cumbersome, but it can be overcome by just removing the screw in this plate and leaving it off and it doesn't interfere with the security of this lock in any way by doing that. Compared to the master locks, I find it a much more secure lock in that it can't be bypassed by using a shim or uh, pressure on the shackle and moving the uh, wheels to find a loose, uh, loose wheel. Now the price of this is $3 cheaper than the comparable master lock. And I find that a good value for the money and also the added security that comes with this lock not being able to be bypassed so easily. In my opinion, I find this simply lock a better value for the money. And I invite your opinions down below in the comments uh, and see how you like it. Thanks for watching and thanks for your patience.